Good morning, ABC family. Welcome back to another Kids Talk. We're wrapping up a video series called The Life of Jesus. We have been looking at Jesus making disciples in action. We've been seeing the marks of Jesus, how Jesus was missional, accountable, reproducible, communal, and scriptural. We've been looking at the ultimate disciple maker to find encouragement and hope as we participate in God's story and be disciple makers. Today, we're gonna conclude our series by looking at scriptural Jesus. Matthew 7, 24 to 27. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house. But it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house. And it fell, and great was the fall of it. Hey, BC family, do you remember what it means to be scriptural? Scriptural is to have intentional relationships lived according to scripture. It is allowing the Bible to teach and change our lives to be disciples of Jesus. Now, Jesus has just finished te teaching his disciples many things. He teaches them to love others and to live out their disciple-making mission. And then to conclude his teaching, he tells them this story of two men. ABC family, did you see how Jesus described these two men? One man is wise and the other is foolish. Do you know what wise and foolish mean? In the Bible, wise typically means to trust and obey God. Foolish is to trust and obey ourselves. And so we see there's a wise man and a foolish man. And the wise man, he built his house upon what? That's right, the rock. And the foolish man? That's right, the sand. And when the rains come, what happens to the wise man's house? It doesn't fall. But the foolish man's house? It fell. Now, ABC family. Did you notice how Jesus described the people who are wise? What did they do? The wise man is everyone who hears the words of Jesus and more importantly, does them. People who have heard Jesus' teaching, but not just hearing his teaching, trust and obey his teaching. The wise person is the one who lives their life according to Scripture. They are the one who are safe and secure on the rock. So, ABC family, what can we learn from Jesus, the ultimate disciple maker? We learn that we should read, meditate, and obey scripture. We need to follow the great commandments to love God and love others and join in Jesus' mission of making disciples who make disciples. So ABC family, let me give, a, give you a helpful tip on how to live life according to scripture. I encourage you to start a here journal. 
to start a HERE journal. HERE stands for Highlight, Explain, Apply, and Respond. First, as you read scripture, highlight one verse that speaks to you. So in today's passage, verse 24 stood out to me, so I highlighted it. Next, explain the text. What is the author trying to say? Why is he saying it? What is its meaning? When I read Matthew 7, 24, I believe Matthew is reminding the disciples of Jesus to listen and obey Jesus' teachings and commands. Third, apply this passage to your life. How does this passage impact your view of God? How does it change your life? Write that down. So for Matthew 7, 24, I am reminded to trust and obey Jesus by reading, meditating, and obeying scripture. Finally, respond. Write down a prayer or a specific action in response to the passage you just read. So for myself, for Matthew 7, 24, my response is to read and meditate upon Matthew 7, 24 for five minutes today. So for you, to join in God's mission of making disciples who make disciples and to root yourselves in the truths of Scripture, I encourage you to start a HEAR journal. ABC family, Jesus is scriptural. May we be scriptural in the relationships of our lives. We've taken a look at the ultimate disciple maker, Jesus Christ. May we too remember that we are also disciple makers. Disciples who share Jesus so others can share Jesus. Disciples who join in God's amazing story of Shalom. I'll see you next time.